people in the other areas because we have a cultural difference. Because obviously we have our culture and also the double personality and how do you manage that in children? Uh, well, what we mean by personality technically that we need to understand first. There are two opposite terms. One is personality, another one is individuality. Personality is something which we adopt according to the circumstances. For example, you fly to Pakistan or wherever country, a, a hostess will come and say, hello, how are you sir? What would you like to have? And suddenly his lips will squeeze and he's not, she's not smiling. And when she will go to the other person and say, hello, how are you? And again, she will like this. Now, this is a personality character which is required for that profession. Right? There are certain mannerisms which are required for a particular situation. And for utilitarian purpose, they are very important. Obviously, there is a utilitarian purpose. For example, Imam comes over here and he is wearing a pant which is just below his neck, you know, yeah, the, the, the knees. And uh, he is having a, uh, you know, kind of a long Bermuda short. And he, if he comes here for a prayer, I mean, there is not, it, Sharait Torpet is covered. But this is not the requirement. I mean, we expect an imam to be dressed properly. And if you wear a shirwani and go for a beach, I mean, this is, <laughs> this, is, this is not on, right? So there are few skills, few, you know, mannerisms which are for the situation. And that is called personality traits. And there is nothing wrong with that. But problem occurs when it, is, it becomes, bad thing becomes your individuality. Right? So if you are saying that in other circumstances your children behave in a different way when it comes in a home in a different way, I think it's a good skill. I meant more like being religious at home and being completely non-religious outside. But then it's our fault. Then it is our fault. That means somehow we have developed them a habit of telling a lie. I mean if you say because munafkat is a telling of a lie. Not being pure inside all the time is a problem. So that can be addressed very easily if we inculcate value system in our child. Since long, those who are involved in teaching and learning, Hamid will know it more than me, that we thought that knowledge is everything. So Sukrat knew everything. You ask anything from Sukrat, he will tell you. Sukrat told that women have got 28 teeth and men have 32 teeth. And he had two wives. He never really tried to ask a senior Mrs. Sukrat to open the mouth and count the teeth or the junior Mrs. Sukrat to ask for it. And people believed it. There was a time when it was thought knowledge is everything. Then we realized that no, skills have to be inculcated. And then we realized no, attitude has to be there. But fairly recently, all the educationists have said, even if you make these things very good, if you don't have a value system as a part of the training, you are deficient. We can teach theory of appendicitis to a child, to, to a doctor, we can tell him how to do it and he does it very professionally, right? But he operates on a wrong patient and he operates for the sake of money. So unless and until value system is not there, that knowledge is not useful. So if a child is having that, some, there is some deficiency of teaching them the values. And I can give you again take home because since I am doing this very regularly, I always end up with giving you a take home message which you can apply. One thing you can start in your home today and all of us whatever we talk in our home should not be such that it should celebrate the money it should celebrate the value you want to praise this shanglia don't tell them ki ye teen lakh rupay ka hai tell them this is beautiful if you bought a big car don't tell them ye teen crore ki hai tell them it is very capacious your friends can also come with it when we go for namaz for fajr. So there is no harm in becoming rich. But don't celebrate your richness. Anything which celebrates money actually puts it in a low value level. Anything which celebrates the values in our home, whether you are poor or rich, that doesn't make a difference. But if you celebrate values in our home, then your child will not be hypocritic like this. And values have to be incorporated for example, if mom is saying all that, this is a very fib, you know, favorite example of mine. If a Pakistani mom says, Ghar mein ladai machi hui hai, I have to have a new suit for Mendi, I have to have to a new suit for Bharat, I, I have to have a fresh suit for Walima. Otherwise, what Mrs. Qureshi will tell me, or what Mrs. Falam will say, 
If this is what child is listening, and Baba is saying, I have to buy Pro 16 Pro Max without a strong why. Why? Because my friends have bought it. Because I have a money. Then this child will, there will be a problem with this child. Because for him, value will be of the money. Or the things which can be bought by money. So if we celebrate those things which money cannot buy in a hum, we are talking about truthfulness. We are talking about, you know, glory. Honestly speaking, when last time in our home, we just asked our children to come together and we tell, okay, today we will talk about Hazrat Khadija. When this happened last time in our home, okay, we may not continuously talking about religion. When we last time we said, let's talk about Einstein, right? So talking in our home, tazkare jo ghar ke hai na, they have to be such that they should not be celebrating the money. They should be celebrating the values and you will see those miracles in the children. So Jazakallah khair, let's pray that whatever has I have said, Allah accepts it.